Hi, it's Charlie. Welcome back to Partick Hill Station. Uh, today, I, I'm going to open a box that I received in the mail. been waiting uh, a number of weeks for this. Um, you may have seen in some of my earlier videos that I had some issues with uh, Gresley Coaches uh, derailing. And, you know, I checked the track and I checked points and uh, to no avail there are still some of these Gresley coaches and the old Triang uh, BR LMS maroon coaches some of them also come off the of tracks for no apparent reason other than all I can guess is the wheel sets in those older models uh, the wheels aren't completely round because they're plastic and they're pitted and uh, as they go through the points they tend to go out or sink off balance and the next thing you know they're on their side so i went into hatton's uh, on their website and i ordered a box to be delivered oops yep a box to be delivered and inside this box are packages of metal wheel sets now these are the R8096 12.6 millimeter diameter metal discs and there are 10 in each pack now I ordered a number of these because I have about 12 uh, Gresley coaches and I, of the 12 I think three of them are sleep, sleeper coaches and I think they, one or two of those are problematic so I, I'm going to replace a number of them uh, at this point in time and probably a couple of LMS Triang Hornby coaches. So. Uh, we'll just we'll have a look at this and see if we can get this set up. I hope you can see this now uh, as you can see uh, the plastic and uh, you won't really be able to see but some of them are not perfect circles anymore so it's a case of just getting them out and just exercise a little bit of care uh, you don't want to be busting the bogey. Some are more difficult to get out than others, and uh, yeah. <clears throat> So that's, that's one out. Well, they're not that easy to get out. Um, as I said, you just have to ex exercise a little bit of care and uh, they will come out eventually.
and of course trying to get them back into the right position is a bit of a pain because they seem to lock up uh, there you go okay so I've got them out and now if I can find it And so now I'm going to put in uh, these new ones. Now this should be quite simple. Just find a little hole in the axle. Easier said than done, said Charlie. I guess there's a there's an art form uh, to putting these back together, and uh, kind of uh, evades me for the moment. I'll try the one at the back here. Yeah, once you get uh, one side in, uh, the other one's easy to get into place. So, a bit of patience and, uh, and you'll get there. I don't know why they make it so difficult, but, you know, they do. one okay that's better so I guess the trick here is to try and drop them in to the slots in here and then push it in get a bit of a click and then it'll go in so as I say a bit of, a bit of patience uh, goes a long way with uh, these type of things and most people would cut the video at this point so that you don't see them struggling but uh, I'm determined uh, to share with you my anguish trying to get these in they were easier to get out but Oh, that's one in, I think. And... 
console and read. I think that's in. Yeah. Okay, so I now I've got the four of them in after a bit of frustration. Um, so let's just. So they sound so much better. Uh, a little bit of a slope there. Um, so there you go. Uh, from Patton's Hornby Authentic Double O Gauge R8096 12.6 millimeter diameter wheel sets and I got a whole bunch of them because I want to do a number of uh, uh, of coaches now nice thing is Hattons always include a nice brochure so it gives me a chance to look through it and see uh, what's available um, so this is a, an ongoing project that I'll do and, and get those uh, wheel sets changed out because it is a problem when anyway it's a problem when I'm trying to do a running session and some of them I'll just straighten this up a wee bit I think yep uh, some of them uh, will jump off a track uh, that's frustrating and embarrassing uh, so uh, this is the second time I've had to do this video because I tried using uh, a Panasonic uh, video camera that I had in a box for a number of years, primarily since I, I got the iPhone. And it worked out quite well. However, trying to get the correct cable uh, to fit the Panasonic video camera and get it onto my iPad. Uh, I, I don't have that, that type. And then if I load them onto my older Windows computer, uh, the videos are too large to send by email uh, to my iPad. So... It's technology for you. It's always changing and everything's different. There's nothing standard uh, anymore. And that, that's also frustrating. Anyway, uh, I'm getting a haircut on the 15th, long overdue. Things are just beginning to open up here because the numbers are way, way down. And, uh, the you know, restaurants will be opening up hairdressers um, there won't be any big concerts at this point and travel is still restricted and not really sure when all that is going to open up anyway um, I'm going to take a look through my Hatton's uh, catalogue and uh, you know Hatton's always give you great service you know you you send them the information, you give them your uh, payment details and they look after it. Comes in a nice box, um, well packaged and I don't pay VAT, which is a, a bonus because uh, things do get a bit expensive when you start adding in VAT. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, remember to give me the big thumbs up. That's what it's all about. And uh, drop me a note. I like getting notes because I'll always respond uh, to anybody who gives me a note. And Just have a look around. Uh, check out my other videos. 
see if something comes up over one of my shoulders and we'll see you next time here in Partick Hill Station. Bye for now.